Welcome back live from Los Angeles. This is Good Morning La La Land, and we're honoring hashtag Transformation Tuesday today with Eddie Ham, designer, multidiscipline creative director of Candor. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Thanks uh, for having me. So you're giving Rob a run for his money for best dress hey. today. Hey. 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 No, you guys are looking great. Um, you guys you are looking great. showed up. So we're featuring your debut collection, Lucid Delusion. Yes. Tell me about the name, Lucid Delusion. Uh, well, you know, it just comes from a place where, you know, especially, uh, you know, in, in L.A. and such, you know, striving for certain things and some people can get delusional. But uh, as long as you keep that clear kind of path to success in mind, uh, I think that's the best way. And so, you know, with the name Candor, it's the uh, it's the uh, quality of being honest. And so that's kind of like we like to tell that within our storytelling through the garments. Mm. So, so, wow. Sorry, go ahead. So you spoke earlier. I heard that it's gender neutral. Yes, correct? that's so what I it's love targeted that as. As you know, spirit, teaching spirituality, I truly don't identify as a woman or a man. I really just identify as spiritual, right. and I love being able to become more masculine or feminine in the roles in this life and stuff. So cool! I love that. Well, and and we'd like to to show that. I mean, you know, more and more like women are buying you know boyfriend cut denim and things mm -hmm. like that, and and t-shirts and uh, you know fleece wear is a little bit more uh, accepted out uh, to be stylish, and so we thought, why not? And so obviously, it is a men's kind of leaning, but we like we like to push it as a, a gender neutral line, a unisex what, line. What so. what inspired you for that? Just um, just you know what, uh, just we felt like there was a, a void in the marketplace for something that's accessible from a price perspective. However, like to be very stylish as well, you know. So the the divide within the market has been very high end or like very low low, and true, so very true, there has right? been you know this void in for something like you know well made but decently priced in the middle and so and that price point is super accessible it's like between 80 and 175 i think yes. nothing higher than 200. No, yeah yeah that, that's i mean that's what we strive for so but you know again it's it's the the truth is in the storytelling with mm -hmm. with the fabrics and, it, well and, and absolutely design, so. and these are such quality cool pieces like instantly when you see this you're like okay this is pretty cool tell me a little bit about this jacket i'm just gonna go ahead and put it on <laughs> so this is actually a sneak peek for Might from next season upcoming but uh it's our Komodo denim jacket that uh, we showed earlier, but it's uh, it's like a Sherpa version. So, you know, you obviously got the lining and, and the collar. This uh, one's really yes, nice. Yes, the lining. The, the fabric actually is really beautifully done. Yeah, there's a nice the like quality. textured face really to quality. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this is actually available online right now. Uh, mm -hmm. This is from our SS18 collection, but it's, uh, it's it's just a nice clean bomber jacket that you can wear. You can dress it up, you know. Uh, I can see Rob wearing it right now, yeah. or you could dress it down with some denim. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's f kind of for all occasions. Right, yeah. and not to put you in the same room of like a, a John Barbados, but it's very uh, something that it, it strikes me as something that could be something like a fifteen hundred dollar jacket. So if they can get this for under two hundred, it's a real quality and. I think you hit you it on the head. That's right? exactly it's what we're striving well for. Done. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh yeah, I mean, and nothing is cooler than a great plaid, for sure. right? Especially if you're like you're in LA, you know, you need a plaid. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and, and it's cut a little shorter, so it's. Kind Kind of, this is what we call an overshirt, so it's perfect to wear as like an, an overcoat jacket, or if you just want to wear it, just you know, again, over a t-shirt, very nice and casual. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's kind of dress it up or dress it down. And that's one of the great things mm -hmm. that I love, or the things that I love most about your line is that, especially in like LA, mm -hmm. like once I leave my house, I don't know exactly what events I may or may not be exactly, at. Exactly. So yeah. I'd love to have something that I can pull off both at something a little upscale, exactly, or a lot upscale, and something that's just like you know, mm -hmm. meet and coffee with a friend. Exactly, and and you know, uh, a lot of people do that as well. Like they may hit the gym, and then you know, whatever meetings they might might hit up, and, and not have time to go home. So it, I think it's it's it kind of fits that that perfect uh, range. I mean, even on the weekend, if you were shopping out, wearing something, and you never know what nighttime activities may lead. So, so what's your personal story? You know, I think that for me, designers, I I want to know their personal story. I think that we we want to fall in love with the creator. Um, well, I've been in this industry a long time. Um, I've, I've worked for you know big multinational brands as well as creative director. I've, I've you know done my own label in my store as well. Uh, the kind of red thread with this is that um, this the street that I grew up on is actually named Candor. Oh, really? So wow. it's kind of like a tie back together where cool. you know I always wanted to have this line that was a little bit more accessible to everybody else, but at the same time, you know. Uh, you know, just design well-made things, and so I just figured, why not? You know, with with the name, I, I always had a meaning to it, and then just you know, growing up as as a child on that street, it kind of so where tied where was Candor Street? Was that in California? Yeah, it's in uh, it's it's in this little town called Cerritos, which is uh, kind of by between Orange County and like Long Beach area. 
So yeah, that's where Does I grew up. Does it mean anything, candor? Sure. Just the, uh, yeah, it's like a, a quality of being honest. I mean, you could also kind of oh. skew it to being a little bit more blunt. And so we have kind of <laughs> plays on that as well, you know, with some of our prints that's and funny. things like that. So The street I grew yeah. up in was called Star Roush. No kidding. That's, I think that's a great, that, oh, that's a great name, too. Yeah, it's so funny, but I'm a big name for, we always talk about people's yeah. names. You think there's meaning in people's names. There's meaning in right. I love that you brought that into Thank the, you. the street. That's so great. Such a great story. Yeah. Rob always says there's a healthy dose of delusion for anybody who's successful. Would you consider that to be the case in your life? Absolutely. I mean, I believe that's kind of a time factor with like driven individuals to kind of really see that goal. And so whether you want to call it delusion or just, you know, uh, just massive conviction, you know, I think mm -hmm. it's a, a good quality. Yes, yes. I love that you For just sure. spin that massive conviction. Yeah. Were you always convicted that you were going to pursue this as, as a artist as a creative a designer absolutely i think uh, growing up i was always kind of wanting to do something creative um i actually wanted to be a, uh, a comic artist when i was younger um but it kind of led me to this path and so um you know i've been doing it so long that it's like you know what i it's there's no other choice what's been the biggest challenge for you um you know just uh just getting it out to the people i think that's, mm. that's right now that's kind of the biggest challenge and so um, you know, people just need to, to kind of hear the story and then see the garments, and I think that's mm -hmm. the biggest thing for now. Yeah. At any uh, point in your career, in your journey, did what, did you find that massive conviction challenged or questioned? Uh, oh, all the time. Know? Absolutely. All the time. Every step of the way. I mean, you know, uh, especially within fashion, there's, you know, it's a, it's a very uh, uh, crowded space. Mm -hmm. So you got to really have that conviction to really like, believe and, and put it in front of eyes and, and tell your story. And so, um, absolutely, every day. But you know, that's what kind of either we're delusional or <laughs> we have that conviction to keep going every day. But content, you know, content, content rules really because absolutely. You know, I see a jacket like this and I'm like, okay, like it makes yeah. sense. It's a good jacket. It's quality and it's price right. Like you have the content, so that's the most important thing Thank for you. sure. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. just getting it out there. Mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest thing. So, how do you maintain your conviction when you face adversity or you face folks that are not really believers? You no, know, I mean it's yeah. just I, I think it's just like everything else. It's all balanced, and so sometimes you got to step away, uh, clear your head, uh, you know, spend time with family and friends and things like that. But other times it's like you know just nose to the grindstone and work. So it's power through. What's yeah, been your exactly. biggest like inspiration or role model in this? Um, from a business perspective, I have to say my mother. She's, uh, mm -hmm. you know, she's kind of taken care of all of us growing up, and she's, you know, kind of self-made in, in her industry. And so definitely on that end, uh, from a, I guess from a creative design standpoint, there's too many to name. But, um, yeah, definitely my mother. That's cool. Yeah. That's special. So Transformation Tuesday. Yes. What do you think is the biggest thing for people for them to transform their wardrobe? Is it just like simplify or organize their closets, get a few key pieces? What do you recommend? I need to go well, out and buy the entire Candor line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Happy Dawson hey, Delusion. <laughs> no, but, um, you know, I, I think it's just to kind of not have the, the mental barriers because uh, I'd, I'd probably be the last person to talk about simplicity because my, my closet is filled. But to think that I'm this type of person and I can't pull this look off or I, I, I can't do that. I think you just need to shatter that and just, you know, you only live once, you know, and I know that's a very... No, know. it's so true. That's one of the quotes I live by is life is not a dress rehearsal. No. You so you have to dress the part. You have to wake up, you have to show up, you have to shine and just own it, right? Yeah, and sometimes you never know once you try something on how you might feel or how it's going to transform you inside. So you're just going to, if you're going to feel great about it, like, why not? Wearing this jacket, I feel so super cool. There you I'm go. Like, yeah. I, you look, you look great. Just take me to Silver Lake or Venice right now. I need some intelligentsia. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> if you're in Los Angeles, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> exactly. So where, where are your clothes manufactured? Uh, in Asia and Europe right now. And then uh, we have a basics program that is run uh, domestically in Los Angeles. So kind of all over the place right now. Um, but yeah, you know, the main thing is, again, just to pay attention to that quality, you know, mm -hmm. so. And where can people find and shop for this new line? Uh, if you're in the Los Angeles area, granted this is a Los Angeles focused show, you can go to uh, Black Market on Sawtel, uh, American Rag on La Brea. Um, if you are, I guess, in the which is story. huge, by yeah. the way. Yeah. If yeah. you're American in Los Rag Angeles, one of my just, like, favorite stores, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, American Rag is a legendary, is a legendary. spot mm -hmm. on La Brea. It's got some of the best fashion lines that are, you know, coming here out of Los Angeles and from around the world. Some vintage pieces, some new, unique pieces. Little yeah. restaurant in the back. I mean, congratulations. That's a right. huge, Thank you, huge, Thank you, huge so place. Thank you, Vince. So about it. Huge <laughs> place. <laughs> no, it's, it's one of my favorite stores. <laughs> but uh, and then online, where can they find you? 
CanderOfficial.com. Nice. Yes. Official. Official. Hey. Yes. hey. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, for yeah. debuting this amazing collection. Thank We're you. We're so having. excited for you. Thank you. And look forward to all that you're going to do with your massive amount of conviction. I got That's it. Right. I got it. Right. Got it. You've got and that healthy dose of delusion. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll, take, I'll take that too. <laughs> we are Good Morning La La Land, America's first live streaming daily talk show coming to you Monday through Friday live at 9 a.m. on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. You can also now watch us on Apple TV and Roku and listen to your favorite interviews on our podcast available on iTunes. Waking up the world together, you guys. Have a great day. Enjoy it. Stay dry in L.A. It's going to be a good morning, La La Land.